This is calculator question number 28 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives a scatter plot with a line of best fit, and they ask which of these four linear equations best fits the data. There are several ways to do this. You could put the points into your stat list and use linear regression, but that takes a long time, and there's a much faster option. It's tempting to look and say, aha, the y-intercept is just over 60, so it's C or D. It's not A or B find the slope and you have the answer. But that would lead you astray because this is not the y-intercept. This is the y-value when x is 140. Given that, we know that by the time your height is 0, the y-value will be well under 62. So choices C and D are wrong. It's either A or B. I would go to y equals and just put choice A into my calculator, 0.21x plus 32. Second window for table set, I'm going to start at 140 and go up by 40 so I can see the points that are actually on the graph. And that starts at 61 and ends, well, the last number I can see is 112 at 380, which is very close to the right answer. So I'm tempted to say it's A. And let's try B. The slope is much higher, so I assume that will be very bad. And that starts at 92, which is up here, and ends at over 200, which is completely lost. B is wrong. If you're unsure, it didn't take long to put that in. And so let's go and try choice C, 0.21x plus 62. And my y value at x equals 140 is... 91 up here. That's nowhere close to the line of best fit, so that's wrong. And choice C gets rejected for the second time. Let's try choice D, 0.43x plus 62. And we know that's going to be pretty bad, and it's 122 up here. Again, choice D gets rejected for a second time. The only choice that comes close to our line is choice A. Remember, your goal is to find the correct answer, and the correct answer is one of the four listed. So this is fast to put your equation into y equals and check the table of values. This is the best way to find the answer. If you really want to calculate the slope, you can get two points, preferably far apart, so that errors in reading the graph average out to small errors in slope. But you could do x equals 420, y equals 120, and x equals 140, y equals 60 and find the slope from that, but it's not worth your time. Remember, you are under time pressure, and you can expect to get questions involving a line of best fit. So come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.